So yeah, those were the scores that we got for uh, last week's episode. Anyway, hello, Retro Activist Kenzie Retro here. And we're going for a slightly different approach with uh, with this series of The Apprentice. Instead of doing the classic everything wrong with Formula, which results in a shout, which results in 99 times out of 100, me shouting into my mic when something goes wrong! Anyway, uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, I've got... Um, I've got a good friend who is no stranger to The Apprentice. He has been a fan of the series since day one. Yeah, that's how long he's been watching the series for. I've got James from Disable Gaming Reviews. What's up, guys? So, um, so first off, welcome to our boardroom as we discuss each and every weekly episode of the business-oriented... Um, of the business-oriented... Um, TV show The Apprentice. Now, I have recently graduated from university with business technology. Second class, I'm afraid, but... So it's still an honest degree, and that's all that be... matters. Yeah. So, anyway. So, like I say, I'll say the scores you saw at the start of the, um, the episode here, uh, that was the scores that we had for last week uh, regarding the... Uh, the cruise liner. Oh boy, that was an absolute shambles. This week wasn't yeah. much. This week wasn't much better because they had to create their own toothbrush for the age for the six to eight year old uh, demographic. But yeah. it turned out that it was the. But it was. But it turned out that the boys that I had to brush up their act. Oh, tell me about it. Yeah. Now you're probably thinking. How do scores come into play with this one? Well, there are well, um, there well, are four, well, there are um, six, there are six sectors that we'll be uh, covering as far as the score yeah, is um, concerned, yeah, and we actually so... split it. We've actually split it into two teams. The team that is covered by Tim Campbell, the very first winner of The Apprentice, believe it or not, and of course, long... I still remember. When Rhode Island Sugar said, Tim, you're hired. Yeah. Because Tim Campbell, uh, for those that might not be in the know, uh, is actually replacing Claude Lidner for this series because Claude ended up with uh, with an accident. So, um, uh -huh. <clears throat> so, uh, we're, so we're wishing Claude a very speed recovery and we look forward to seeing him again in the next series. So, anyway. Um, but of course... But of course, he's uh, he's got his ever he's got his ever faithful aide, Baroness Brady. Um, yeah. So we've got the team that is covered by Baroness Brady, and we have the team covered by Tim. Now, the now the teams they now the teams that those two um, cover will change from week to week. So we figured it would be easier to do the scores based on the team based on who's covering. Um, who's covering uh, the team? So you had uh, you had Brady covering uh, the boys last week, and she and she was covering the girls this week, while Tim was vice versa. So yes, indeed. So anyway, um, so the six areas as far as the s scores are concerned, we've got leadership, harmony, productivity, planning confidence on the way no wait that's that's the old that's the old one that i had um i'll get one of i'll get last week's ones up um so yeah so, so that was that so that was the original those, those were the original ones that we um that we had to use that we're going to use but we've uh, we've we've tweaked it about slightly uh we've got uh leadership harmony branding productivity planning and pitching because the majority of these tasks will be um evolving pitching and some to some business or team or rather to um yeah to really separate the wheat from the chaff indeed and oh flip that has not gone well on my head i've just noticed that i've saved the blank canvas over the cruise ship scores flip right, okay okay right no wait 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 no it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine 
I've got this worked out. I've got this worked out. Don't worry. So that's boom, 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 boom. So that was that. Um, oh, what did I have? Boom, boom, boom. And that was five. And the rest were fours. Yeah, that's what that's what I had. That's what I had. Right. So just try not to screw it up next time. Uh, yeah. Just anyway. Whew. Thankfully, I managed to get that saved. Anyway, um, so toothbrushes. Oh boy. We thought the cruise ships were bad last week. This, like I said, this wasn't much better. Yes, indeed. This wasn't much better. Yes, indeed. So, Them boys got a really. Them boys team got a really raw thrashing. Hell, if um, if I if it had been me, I'd fired every last one of them. It's a bit early in the process to be firing everybody. Nah, not really. Anyway, um, so. The girls decided to go for... Oh, and if you haven't seen the episode yet, spoiler alert, now in effect, if you haven't seen the episode yet. Anyway, uh, the girls decided to go for uh, a space-themed space space toothbrush with... Um, it, was, it was Brushing Star that was the name of the brand they were going for. Whereas the boys went for a wizard theme, with the, the wizard, to be exact. And... Uh, God... A, and appropriately Harry Potter music in the background composed brilliantly by John Williams yes I will gush about film scores all day if I can anyway uh, yeah the big issue with the boys was the fact that they wanted to go for a gender neutral approach but Connor ended up deciding against that and focused strictly on the boys Effectively wiping out half the market right out the gate. So yeah, based on yes, that alone, indeed. they were already a little bit of bother. And it only gets worse from here. Yep. And I'm so not, I see the um, voice was a bit mutinous. And I'm not and I'm not just seeing that for dramatic effect. It does genuinely get worse for the boys. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so not only did they, not only did both teams have to make a toothbrush for the six to eight year old demographic, but they also had to have an accompanying app to go with it. Yeah, and the exact same vein as Pokemon Smile, which I'm not joking, folks. <laughs> Just need to wait for it to load up. I'm not joking. Uh, You've got it. Yep, it's on my phone, and I'm not ashamed of it. I've I've grown up with Pokemon since day one. Well, TV series because I didn't because I didn't play the games until a little bit later. But I grew up with the TV series from day one. But yeah, Same here. yeah. But 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 say but you but you would you would have had more experience with the games as well though. So we got to keep that in mind. True that. True true true. There we go. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, it's, um, yeah, the fact, um, I mean, fair, fair play to the girls for going for a gender neutral color in the form of orange. And they had like various, like, they had various space themed things in their planets, stars. They even had a shooting star on the, uh, the toothbrush at one point, uh, as well. Uh, whereas the boys, they went for a predominantly brown um, color scheme. Uh, brings with, you to think, with, um, with Fraser, a, with a bit of with a bit of green thrown stars. in there as well. Yeah, in terms of the shooting stars. Yeah. Do you do you actually think that was the shooting stars, or or um, do you think it's just the boys' team's product going up in smoke? Hmm. Well, as far as the product going up in smoke is concerned, I think we're going to find out when they get to the boardroom. 
yeah so so product design so product designed app in place and it's pitching day mm -hmm. I mean, and one of the big concerns for the girls was the fact that it felt like they were going for a more younger age demographic based on the design of the of the toothbrush but with the app uh -huh. nobody really understood what the app was about i mean bowling alleys theme parks go-karts yeah would any would I mean, any of those things be things be what you would associate with space um, I wouldn't, but then again, maybe it's some supposed to be like closer to some city. Because they did mention that they have, they went for this approach of creating your own world. So there's that. Yep. So You're not worth the lie. So, 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 so there, so there is, there is, so there is that to take into account as well. So we've got to keep that in mind as well. Uh, what else was there? Uh, there was also the, um, I'm gonna say, but the, um, the Wiffy the Wizard app, that was, that one, the app for Wiffy the Wizard, made more sense. That had, that had some sort of end goal, that had a more clear end goal at the end of it saying uh, with Wiffy saying that your wand, your wand is ready to cast a spell now mm -hmm. and while they couldn't like directly make uh, the um, the lightning bolt scar that Harry Potter has because of copyright issues they did make they did make a they they put their own spin on the uh, design, if you will. They they made, um, they made the lightning a bit more. What's what I'm looking for? There was like there was more jagged similar areas. Similar to Harry Potter. Well, well, it was it was similar without it was a similar design for the lightning bolt skull without being a blatant carbon copy. Yeah. That copy, no, especially when branding there. Yeah. Copyright, it's a very big minefield. Yeah, otherwise you'd end up with Warner Brothers and J.K. Rowling knocking at your door. Hey, we got a lawsuit for copyright infringement. Boring. And then you'd spend a lot of time in the courts. You'd end up having to pay a lot of legal fees. And yeah, you'd end up going bust. Meaning nobody buys your product anymore. Where's the line? Huh? It's twice you've said that now. What? What's that? Wait, what? No, no, I said, where's the lie? Whatever you know, that. Whatever that means. Um. You know, it's so true. So true. Ah, right, right. Okay. You know, where is the lie in that statement? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, and then, the part I loved the most was the fact that the focus groups, the focus groups, oh boy, <sighs> to say they tore the boys one apart would be a bit of an understatement. Mm hmm Yeah. But... <sighs> It's it just it just it just never went right for the boys to begin with. It just never went right for them. But uh, now the boardroom itself it was it was a massacre for the boys. Yeah, not gonna lie. And every single retailer has placed no orders. <laughs> We're not. No, that's. <laughs> that's. We wish. Yeah, we... And meanwhile, the girls' team. Um, they got. Girls' team. They got. Up orders by the thousands. They. And in one case, the tens and thousands. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, because they had they had one retailer place an order for a thousand units, and they had it was Superdrug placed the order for ten thousand units, and the boys got nil point. I genuinely wish we were joking when we say that. Yeah. No units, no orders, at all. So, from that, who do we all think it was? Who do we all think was to blame for all of that, for that disaster? It's hard to say, but then again, I would say it's more... Oh. I'd say that it's lack of harmony. The exact same thing as the cruise ship task. Oh, tell me about it. You know... No, the initial idea was one way, then they then ended up going in on the other. Yeah, that was just... You know, the product was um, absolutely poor quality. Yep. You know, seriously, I probably could have gotten better quality in a pound shop. I, pro I, pro I probably would have been able to as well. But in the end... In the end, out of all that, it was Connor that ended up being fired for for effectively eliminating half the target market to begin with. Yep. Oh. Yeah. But, but at the end of the day, the, pro the project manager wasn't much better. Again, not exactly. Yeah. But but based, here's the thing, though. Based on the scores that I gave in the scoring matrix that James uh, James has uh, uh, created, I had fours across the board for Tim's team, and mm -hmm. I had threes across the board for uh, Baroness Brady's team. So based on mm -hmm. that, I would have thought the boys would have won because they stuck more to the age demographic they were after despite eliminating half the market. Uh -huh. But uh, in the end, like I say, it was the girls that won and it was Connor that ended up uh, being fired. Now, I've had a look I've had a look into what the next we've seen we've seen what the next task is going to be and it's going to involve non-alcoholic drinks. Oh boy! Oh, this is definitely going to end well. So, um, let's see what is. Uh, yeah, a uh, candidate's next task is creating a brand new non-alcoholic drink and hosting a launch event where they will be pitching and selling it to leading retailers well well um to be fair the alcohol trade is um been severely impacted by the pandemic because you know pubs are yeah yeah they didn't they couldn't exactly they couldn't exactly get much business done and um and a lot of alcohol-based products be it uh beer lager cider um and mm -hmm. and various and various other alcoholic drinks they were effectively mm -hmm. being panic bought from uh, various um shop retailers retailers yeah but i'm actually intrigued to see how this task is going to play out mainly for the fact that um mainly for the fact that uh, uh i actually i actually enjoy non-alcoholic drinks and uh, now more Compared to having regular alcoholic drinks, because uh, yeah, let's just say I had a couple of episodes where I had one too many to drink, and uh, those episodes I am not very proud of looking back on them. One of those episodes okay. I've had, one of those episodes I had people I used to be in contact with. They've never spoken to me again since. Yeah, but hey, but hey, it's for the best, though. 
that's for the best anyway because i've because i've got a new group of people that i'm with and uh couldn't be happy about that but anyway uh, that is uh, this week's uh, review of this week's episode of the apprentice so yes we're going for this sort of approach reviewing the episodes from here on out uh yeah so it so yeah that's about 20 minutes which is a lot better than doing the uh, classic formula that we used to have uh but um fear not you guys are probably wondering what's happening to the rest of your content where's your top 10s of 2021 they're gonna be they're gonna be next ladies and gentlemen don't you worry uh, I'm also going to be going to see the new Scream film tomorrow, so there's going to be a review of Scream 5 coming out later in the week. Um, well, coming out later in the week as well. So you've got my first 2022 review on the way. I've got another. I've got more play. I've got more gameplay from Spider-Man Miles Morales, and uh, I need to finish Resident Evil Village at some point before um, before Horizon uh, Forbidden uh, Forbidden West, I believe it's called, comes out. Uh, Horizon, Forbidden West, yes, and I'm so glad it's act and I'm so glad it's coming out on PS4 as well, because it means I don't have to worry about getting a PS5 anytime soon. But I am looking at well, um, I am looking at getting well, a Series X by the end of the year because you know they um because you know it makes sense because there's a lot of um, PS5 shortages and they're combating by producing more PS4s. Yeah, while Xbox, on the other hand, well, Microsoft, on the other hand, they quietly discontinued the Xbox One units. Yes, to at, the make e- way at the end for... of at the end of twenty twenty, and didn't say a thing about it. So they quietly yeah. discontinued the Xbox Ones. Which I'm not entirely sure which is a good way, but. Yeah, especially especially with like you've mentioned the shortages that we're dealing with right now, because you've got more people after Series X's compared to Series S's. Now I now I'm sorry, I need a Series X, otherwise I'm not going to be able to play Xbox Series X, physical Series X games on the Series X. Yep, I understand. Yeah, because I've always been one for collect. I've always been one for playing physical games. I mean, don't get me wrong. Game yeah. pa- don't get me wrong. Game Pass is fantastic. And talking of which, Sony are effectively in the process of getting their equivalent of Game Pass in the pipeline. Considering a lot of UK retailers have now discontinued the PlayStation Now uh, uh-huh. cards that you would normally see um, for like for getting PlayStation Now, which I actually have now on my PlayStation. Um, so I'm just wait. I'm just waiting to see what's going to happen as far as the um, the Game Pass competitor is concerned. Apparently, it's going to be a tiered system where we could end up with PS One, PS Two, and PS Three games in that lineup, mm. which sort of somewhat goes against the philosophy they had during the PS Four of no backwards compatib- no backwards compatibility whatsoever. It's only yeah, t- it's, but... it has only taken them da, 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 da. it only took them eight years to realize that backwards compatibility is still a big deal. Well, to be fair, one of the key, which I'm actually surprised, one of the key um, factors of the um, PS2 success was because you could play your PS1 games on exactly. your PS2. Exactly. So exactly, so a very surprising move from Sony. Yeah, I say, I say, I'm, I say, I'm, I'm just as surprised as well, if not more surprised. But that being said, though, I'll be intrigued to see how this is going to play out. I want to play Pac-Man World again. I want to play Pac-Man World again. I want to play Tekken. I want to play Final. F- I want to play Tekken. I want to. I want to play those Disney which games. That- Tekken two, because that which Tekken? Tekken two, because that one has the best intro out of the three. Right. Okay. I'm always go- I'm always going to stick to Tekken 2's intro because of the because of the music for it. Mm-hmm. Again, I could gush about music all day if I could. Yep. Uh, but yeah, but say the, the PS One. I mean, where do we even begin with that line? We had Toy Story Two, Bugs and Taz, Time Busters, uh, Metal mm-hmm. Gear Solid, Final the Final Fantasy trilogy of seven, eight, and nine. Uh, what else was there? Parappa the Rapper as well. Cash Banuka himself, Mr. Crash Bandicoot, Spyro the Dragon, Crash Team Racing. I be here. That reminds me. I need to do it. That reminds me. 
I am actually half tempted to redo my top. I'm I might need to do an updated top ten PS One um, games list. Yeah. Because there's, cause there's definitely a couple of other PS1 games that I've played since I made my original list on a channel that no longer exists back in 2016 that I would now put on my top 10 PS1 games list. <sighs> Actually, do I make it a top 20 and get James on board with this one? What's up? Do I make the top 10 a top 20 and get you on board with your favorite PS1 games? I'd say keep it top 10. Alrighty, my top ten games it is. But uh, but yeah, I say that top ten will come in due course because I still need to get my top ten films of the year because... and top ten games of the because... year. Mm -hmm. I still need to I still need to get those uh, top tens out as well. But feel, but like I said, they are going to be out later in. They're going to be out later in the week alongside my Scream Five uh, review, and then after that. We're gonna, and then after that, my next uh, film review will most likely be the new, the Uncharted film that comes out just in time for Valentine's Day for the uh, the ladies out there that have gaming boyfriends out there. Just, just a suggestion, just a suggestion if you wanna, if you wanna treat your uh, gaming boyfriends to that one. Uh, but anyway, uh, that is. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this rundown of this week's episode of The Apprentice. If you did, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be a crack activist like us, you can hit the subscribe button down at the bottom and click the bell to join the notification squad so you don't miss anything that I do on this channel. My next two videos are going to be involving the top 10 films of 2021 and top 10 games of uh, 2021. Uh, I've already done a video for the most anticipated movies of uh, 2022. I can't do a list necessarily on the most anticipated games of the year because we all know release dates are subject to change and we've seen so many delays for films and games over over the last uh, couple of years. But um, uh, but yeah, uh, people are want, uh, for those wondering what's going to be happening with the Kingdom of Isolation from next week, it's going to be back open for business. So fear not, Kingdom of Isolation is going to be coming back as well after its um, festive break. Uh, but that being said, uh, we will see you guys next time. And always remember to stay Cretroactive. <laughs>